We now take a look at India's textile industry and how it can positively impact South Africa's flag in textile manufacturing. And joining us now to discuss this is uh, South Africa, the Indian High Commissioner to South Africa, Virendra Gupta. So thank you for coming through. You come at an interesting time to South Africa, as I've just said in the intro, because we've got the industry here under pressure from cheap imports, and yet you are looking, you've got Indian companies looking at the South African market. What are they saying? Well, <clears throat> we are trying to create value for uh, the consumers here. Uh, India has established itself as a uh, quality manufacturer of uh, apparels, garments, uh, supplying to uh, very quality conscious markets uh, across the world, America, Europe, uh, other places. And uh, we want to make a thrust and uh, improve uh, the volumes that we are doing. Right. Already, I think we, we, we have a very small share of the market at the moment. But uh, given uh, India's uh, experience in the rest of the markets world over, yeah. uh, we think that uh, there is a huge amount of opportunity for us. Uh, at the moment, uh, we are concentrating on um, uh, selling Indian garments, uh, uh, manufactured uh, apparels. Right. Uh, but um, I think we are moving it in the direction of uh, more uh, lasting uh, partnerships to be created. Right. Why South Africa? Why not the other African countries, particularly given the competition issues that we have seen here in South Africa? Well, South Africa is a big market. Sure. Uh, you know, we have very vibrant uh, economic and commercial exchanges with South Africa, between India and South Africa. We both, as you know, are members of BRICS. Yes. Uh, we have huge partnership on uh, so many different fora. And this builds upon um, a very strong uh, historical connect between our two countries. So we are kind of uh, natural partners. Uh, we have a strategic connect. And uh, we are bound together by, in today's terms, which is so important really, sure. uh, by very strong commercial um, and economic exchanges. So we look at uh, not just uh, textiles and garments, but we look at a uh, whole spectrum, a uh, whole wide area. Um, and I'm very happy to tell you that you know we have very vibrant uh, trade, uh, having crossed already uh, what about 100 um, uh, billion rands per annum between the two countries? The two countries. Okay, so let's talk about uh, the exhibition now that uh, started today. Uh, that's say for the textile industry. What kind of interest have you seen? Who's been coming through? Let's begin first on well, the visitors on the South African side. 60, 65, uh, about 65 uh, Indian companies. Sure which are participating, which is, which is a large number. It is a great large group. Uh, this is the seventh year in succession that such a show has been organized. Every year the show, uh, in terms of size uh, of exhibition, in terms of number of Indian companies has been increasing. Mm -hmm. um, this, is, this is not a show which is meant for normal visitors. Sure. In the sense that it is different from, uh, there are a lot of people who keep organizing bazaars and melas here where Indians, bring their wares and you know they sell it to the people right uh, this is not uh, meant for 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 open sale but uh, really these are samples and uh, the visitors are buyers uh, those who would establish long term business connections right uh, with the indian manufacturers who are exhibiting uh, so they're looking at uh, you know generating business inquiries sure and um, some of these things, there's a wide range of products, okay. uh, garments, apparels, you know, bed sheets, uh, linen, all kinds of things. Are there. Sure. And on the South African side, who's coming through? Who is interested in Indian uh, garments and stuff? Oh, um, you'd be surprised. In fact, uh, everybody sells Indian garments. Um, Edgar sells in Indian right. garments. So it's a big uh, retailer. It's a big retailer who would sell Indian garments. Yeah. There are two types of uh, Indian garments which are selling. Sure. Uh, one is the... Uh, you know, the traditional uh, you know, Western wear, what, what people would normally wear here. Sure. Uh, there is also another segment, which is the ethnic Indian wear, uh, for which the market uh, is essentially amongst the South Africans of Indian descent. Sure. You'll be very glad to know that we are running a competition for our staff here at uh, CNBC Africa, and uh, one of our groups is wearing Indian wear oh, lovely. to the competition. So certainly we shall be making demands on <laughs> and, uh, the companies that are exhibiting. Now, in terms of the interest, that you're seeing this year. How would you compare it to previous years, particularly given the condition where we are in, this, in the South African economy, where we know the economy is emerging from a recession and therefore demand has not been quite what it was in the previous years? Well, uh, you've got to ride it over. I mean, you know, businesses, sure. uh, sometimes it's a good year, sometimes it's, but by and large, I think business is doing very well. Hmm. Uh, 
uh, India South Africa trade uh, last year, despite all the recessionary pressures, I think we've done reasonably well. Mm. And uh, the redeeming feature is that uh, uh, in sector after sector, uh, we're moving from uh, trade to uh, value addition, local value addition, right. which is what we are always goading and encouraging Indian companies to move in that direction. Uh, automobiles, for instance, which is which is an important sector for us. Sure. Where um, Tata's uh, set up last year uh, an assembly plant. Mm -hmm. uh, Mahindra, which is another very large company from India, um, into light uh, commercial vehicles. They are also thinking of setting up a... Because whenever you reach a certain threshold in terms of volumes, uh, it becomes difficult to service that uh, merely on the basis of imports. Right. Uh, pharmaceuticals, we are seeing the same picture. Absolutely. And uh, likewise, I feel, um, and this is the message that I gave in the morning when I inaugurated the exhibition. Yeah. Uh, Indian manufacturers, I told them that they should seriously look at um, creating a manufacturing facility because rather uh, than just come and uh, do training absolutely. yeah now in the past what we have seen is indian companies coming here and some of global companies coming here in south africa setting up base here as uh, the headquarters for their operations in south africa is that trend continuing and it what type sure, of I mean, you know, the are interest you in that? south africa is from the standpoint of south africa's integration with the southern african uh, countries as part of saku within sadec uh, and indeed, South Africa's uh, very preeminent position as a gateway to Africa. Um, so Indian companies look upon South Africa with a with lot of interest. Mm -hmm. uh, firstly, because South Africa itself offers a big market. Sure. But uh, also going beyond South Africa. And I think that is uh, the, the leverage that South Africa has which um, Indian companies would make fully use of. Absolutely. Mr. Virendra Gupta, High Commissioner of India and South Africa, thank you for your time, sir.